Zollamt, the German Customs Authority, is the authority that we have in Germany to control and check whether companies that second or post workers to Germany really fulfill with all the regulations. And they are very much working on procedure. So when they have on-site controls, they come uh, usually with a lot of people and um, try to control in a very short time the compliance with all the various and, and very much systematic um, rules what papers need to be on the site and they uh, they are working with checklists. So that is also important for you if you are faced with such a control to work with checklists. And um, the basic idea here is to cooperate but not to concede any information or any any uh, final findings that they are not uh, really entitled to um, to be conceded. So you have to show the papers that are uh, mandatorily have to be provided here. You have to um, to cooperate and to help, and you are also required to give certain copies, but you are not required to give originals. Um, for example, what you need to have are the A1 certificates that show that you are complying with the social security standards. What you are required to have on site is uh, payment information, so that shows that you are compliant with the minimum wage uh, considerations, um, and you are also uh, very much required to have working time records that shows that you are compliant with the working time regulations and overtime regulations. And all that is things that they will check. And um, if you have the documents, that is the first step really to be compliant and to have a, a good cooperating relationship. If you are lacking documents, that is um, already a problem because already the, the fact, whether you comply or not, already the fact that you don't have the documentation on site uh, will be a reason for fines. And that is also the purpose of the whole thing, so that um, there is, I think, there is the idea to make the whole um, business of posting of workers uh, quite paper-heavy and quite regulated, um, so that it requires a certain uh, seriousness and a certain organization uh, that also uh, it makes it easier for, for the German authorities to control the businesses that are active in Germany. The German customs authorities also work with checklists, and for you as a business that is providing um, labor in, in Germany on the, uh, on the provisions of the posting of workers, you also need to prepare yourself with all the documents that are required in particular on the social security side, the A1 certificates, on the side of the minimum wage legislation that you have proof that you actually pay and meet the minimum wage requirements. And especially on the area of working time, you need to have working time records and um, show that you are compliant with working time and that you also record overtime so that at the end, the minimum wage, which is an hourly minimum wage, is not, um, not in average, uh, violated by, by overtime, which is unpaid. So all these are things that you should have ready, and therefore it's, it's best if you have your own checklist that you can, can see whether you have the required documentation with you. And um, yeah, that is, that is the, as the main topics that I would think uh, are necessary. Then, of course, you need to have the um, documentation on the nationality of the people that you have with you, because if you have people from third uh, non-EU countries, you have a completely different regime. The posting of workers directive only applies uh, to EU citizens, and therefore you need to have some proof, uh, for example, uh, copies of the passports of the people that you have on site um, that um, you can prove they are all of EU citizenship. Mm -hmm.